The DJI Pocket is a small camera kit that packs a punch. This 4K gimbal camera can take pictures, shoot stabilized video, and has great onboard mics and external audio options. What it doesn't have is a big battery inside this tiny case. So what if you want to take this along for an all day outing and shoot video on the go? Well in this video I'm going to show you how you can hook up a cool external battery to the DJI Pocket so you can keep shooting all day on the go even while you're charging. Welcome, I'm Chuck and today we're talking about the DJI Pocket. Recently I took it on a trip and while my outing was short I got to try out some other shooting situations like taking pictures and shooting inside and outside in the cold. While the battery was fully charged when I started, when I got back to my hotel room, I had about 75% of battery left. I brought an external battery pack and charging cable along, and while I didn't need it for such a short outing, if I were to be shooting more video all day, I'm sure I'd need to connect to a charger to continue shooting. As you probably know, the specs of the original Osmo Pocket and the DJI Pocket 2 are about the same because they both have an 875 milliamp battery that can run continuously shooting 1080p video for about 75 minutes. If you add 2K or 4K and if you shoot photos, your runtime will be much less, especially if you're shooting at 4K. Now, I'm sure if you add to that using Wi Fi and wireless mics of the Do It All handle, your runtime will be much less. Now, I have this charging handle I bought for my GoPro, but I wondered if there's one specifically made for the DJI Pocket 2. Well, I found one. This is a Smatry DP20 Power Stick Advance, and this is a package with a few more accessories than the base Smatry Power Stick. The DP20 Power Stick is rated at 5,000 milliamp hours, which is about four to five charges of the Osmo Pocket and Pocket 2. And here's what it includes. You get the Power Stick with the Osmo Pocket and Pocket 2 mount holder, a Smatry tripod mount, which screws into the quarter inch mounting hole underneath the power stick, a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable to attach the battery pack handle to the pocket cameras, and the advanced kit also includes a convertible knob with a quarter inch tripod screw to mount to the pocket with a do-it-all handle. Another bonus with this is you can also mount another camera or even a tripod ball head if you'd like. Now there's also a phone mount with a screw clamp and this attaches to the bracket for the pocket so you can use it with your phone screen and the MIMO app. Now attaching the original Osmo Pocket is really simple because you unclip the lock on the charging mount and slide the pocket base into the mount until it clicks to make connection with the USB male end of the plug inside the base. For the Pocket 2, you have to ensure the base with a quarter inch screw mount is removed. If you look closely, the receiving end of the plug connection is deeper inside the mounting base of the pocket when it's attached. When you look inside the charging mount, you'll see the small USB male connector. If you have the do-it-all handle, you simply remove it to expose the USB-C connector. Once you're connected, to start charging the Osmo Pocket or DJI Pocket 2, depress the charging button on the handle. And if your pocket is on, you'll see the charging symbol on the top right of the screen. If your camera is off, you'll see the charging light blinking. Now if you're using the do-it-all handle, you need to change the camera mount on the charging stick. You'll need to follow the icons on the top of the handle to unscrew the pocket holder clamp. Once it's unscrewed, replace it with a quarter inch convertible knob mount by carefully screwing it in following the lock unlock icons of the handle. Once that is in, simply screw on the do-it-all handle until it's secure. An added feature with this convertible knob mount is the top portion rotates so you can have the camera with the controls in line with the charging button for easy access. Once screwed in, attach the USB-C to USB-C cable to the handle and you have the ability to charge your pocket by attaching the USB-C cable to the back of the do-it-all handle. Now if you want to use your phone along with your Osmo Pocket or Pocket 2, all you have to do is use a quarter inch convertible knob with the phone mount and the pocket bracket. And here's how you do that. Once the convertible knob has been secured onto the handle, take the Osmo Pocket bracket and place the hole in the bracket over the quarter inch screw. Then line up the phone bracket's mounting hole over the quarter inch screw and screw it on along with the bracket onto the mount. Once the screw catches, rotate the brackets together until it's secure onto the convertible mount. 
rotate the convertible mount's head until the bracket is lined up the way you like it. Now, mount your phone to the pocket with its phone connector and tighten the bracket. I usually do this on a flat surface so I don't accidentally drop everything. And here's a tip. When the charging button is facing you, the USB-C charging connector is on the left. Rotate the handle to the right until the USB-C charging port is on the same side of the pocket. That way you don't have to overstretch the cable and cause stress to the cable and the ports of the camera and the charging handle. When you start the charging process by a quick depress of the button, you'll see the battery indicator on your MIMO app turn green. When you do the long press on the handles button to turn off the charging, the battery indicator on the MIMO app will turn white. So here's my take on the Smatry DP20 Power Stick Advance. This is a good charging unit if you're a creator on the go and want to get a good day shooting out of it. If you're filming a kid's sporting event, a family event, or on a family vacation, this handle will also give you the additional power you need to be able to film. You won't need to stop filming to charge, and you won't need to have a bulky battery pack with you because the power stick is a handle that becomes part of your setup. If you're someone who shoots time-lapse videos or extended exposure shots, you can also mount this onto the included tripod stand or onto any other tripod you may have. You can shoot for an extended period of time and get those creative shots that you want. This is both for the user or creator who has just the base Osmo Pocket or Pocket 2 model. So what creative ways have you used to keep your Osmo Pocket or DJI Pocket 2 charged all day? Let me know in the comments below. Links to all the items I described are in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and check out this video too.